guess not so much hesitation. I mean, I, I guess wasn't really anticipating uh, what, what occurred and the fact that uh, Chief Saunders uh, was leaving uh, at this point in time. So it was a bit of a surprise, but uh, uh, you know, I, I'm enjoying the challenge. It's, I mean, I, I've been around for 40 years and, and uh, right across the organization, so that certainly helps. I got a good understanding of what our, our women and men are doing, so uh, it was certainly helpful. Because at the, at the end of the day, the police are the community as well. And, and you know, we have to work with them collaboratively. And it's, it's, it's so important. I mean, when you, you know, that's, that's the advantage of our, our neighborhood officer program. That's why we're going to be adding uh, officers to additional neighborhoods this year. Because it helps, you know, the officers become part of that community fabric. And uh, it really enhances, I think, those relationships so that we can police more effectively and the community can feel safer. We try uh, different ways to to, to solve that, uh, to do, to address gun, uh, gun and gang violence. I mean, we were trending earlier in the year to be significantly up this year, uh, probably as high as 40% earlier in the year, and I think most recently we're down about 3%. The most significant reduction, in my view, is that we've had about 25% less shooting victims. So actually, quite frankly, we've turned this year around quite a bit. And I think what we've done is, is really try to change the focus of, of how we're doing policing with respect to gang violence, and that is to be much more surgical, much more strategic, make sure that we're actually targeting the individuals that are involved in the, the violence and focusing our energy on, on those people. I mean, it was such a tragic and, and traumatic, and it was, it, you know, it was traumatic for all the emergency services officers involved. I mean, uh, the officer we had from 31 Division that was doing uh, resuscitation and then trying to stop the bleeding and CPR in the child before ambulance and paramedics got there. Very traumatic for everybody. And just to see such a young victim who's out there shopping with his mother. I mean, that's that's what we fear. Like, sometimes we, we, we can't diminish some of the gang violence, some of these shootings. And I think you you know sometimes we hear people say, well, it's, it's the gang members that are involved. Well, it's not. When people are shooting out on crowded streets, there's always the potential for innocent victims. I think more than any other year, this is about, this has been a year about helping people and they've done an extraordinary work. Um, they've really adapted to the situation and, and you know, we're, we're out there still doing those same calls, those same gun calls, uh, the disputes with people and, and you're having to engage with people, you're having to arrest people. So they, they are at risk despite some of the precautions that are taken, but uh, it's, it can be a very difficult environment and they have to go home to their families, but they've, they've, they've done an extraordinary job and they've come every day to work to do that and, and uh, like I said, I'm very proud of them.